I'm Haruto Kikuchi, 20 years old. One day, I was on my way back from work. I get hit by a car while I was riding my bike and was taken to the hospital. I almost died, but fortunately, I was able to survive the accident and was moved to a normal hospital room five days later. And my family came to visit me, but... Oh, for God's sake. How much do you think it costs to be hospitalized and to have surgery? What if you can't go back to work after the accident? I <laughs> know, right? We could have got the insurance that was on you if you just didn't survive the accident. You're so right. <sighs> Maybe I should have just died. Maybe I wouldn't have to see you anymore. We're busy, so we can't come very often. We'll come once a week, so get it fixed. I'll tell your company you can't come in for a week. I had a bag I wanted to buy. Why do you have to use up our money like this? A week? This isn't going to heal in a week. I thought the doctor told me I was seriously injured. What the hell was that? Is that really your family? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to pry, but I couldn't resist. It's all right. I'm the one who has to be sorry for being so nosy. Oh, not at all. The person staying in the bed next to me was a 19-year-old guy called Mamoru. Apparently, he broke his leg. My parents are terrible. They hate me. The love was all for my sister, the girl who was here with my mom earlier. Wow, that is unbelievable. I didn't know that parents like that really existed. I thought it was only in stories. My role was to work hard and earn money for the family. As a result, I have hardly any money left to use for myself. Why don't you run away? I wonder why. My parents and my sister are a bunch of assholes, but I grew up with them, so others will think that I'm like them. And besides, I don't have anywhere else I can be accepted. <laughs> That's so sad. I have a sister, but I would be sad if she was the only one that was loved. And it would be so sad to be treated like shit by my sister. Huh? Why are you crying? Mamoru may not look like it, but he has such an innocent heart. He lost his parents at a young age, and he and his sister grew up with their grandparents. That's why he loves his sister. I was always busy at work or at home, and I never really had a friend I could talk to. So I enjoyed talking about lots of stuff with Mamoru. I'm glad I got injured. Huh? Why? Because I met you, Mamoru. What? What the hell are you saying? You underestimate yourself too much. I think you should be more confident in yourself. About a week had passed since I moved to the normal hospital room. I was feeling sleepy during the day until the curtain was opened a bit. What? Are you joking? Why are you so wrapped in bandages? It takes like two months to heal completely. Huh? Then what are you going to do about your work? What about the money for this month? And what about my allowance? I can't believe it. Will it really take two months to heal? Isn't the doctor exaggerating and trying to rip us off? Shall we talk to the doctor? Oh, I can't be bothered to do any of this. I wish we just got the insurance money. I know, right? How much insurance money was on him? I think it was about $50,000. Huh? Isn't that like $5 million? He wasn't willing to pay that much because he's stingy. Oh, what the hell? I thought I didn't have to work if he died. They came to visit me and started talking about the insurance on me. How low can they get? But I was used to this kind of behavior. I guess they'll go home once they've said enough. But then, the curtain on Mamoru's side suddenly opened. Haven't you said enough already? I've been listening, but are you insane? Huh? Who is that? Could that be Mamoru's sister? Aren't you guys a family? Is that the only thing you can talk about when your family is badly injured? You guys are insane! It's none of your business. Don't interfere with other people's family affairs. If you don't want other people to interfere, then try living a proper life. 
I've heard from my brother that you always talk about things like that in front of Haruto! Who the hell is this person? Let's go. I'm never coming to visit you again. I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. If my legs were alright, I would go and kick them. Instead of having my sister do it. So then, you're Mamoru's sister? Oh, yes. I'm Yukari, Mamoru's sister. Thank you for being so nice to my brother all the time. Not at all. I always have fun talking to Mamoru. I come to visit Mamoru almost every day. But my timings are always not very good. And you're always asleep. That's why I hadn't been able to say hi yet. I see. I always have painkillers around this time every day, and it makes me very sleepy, so... But anyways, your family is so terrible. That's true. I wouldn't be able to be like that to Mamoru even if I was being paid for it. You two are really close then. Well, even within a family, we are human. So I'm sure there are instances where people don't get along. But you don't have to stay together if you don't get along, don't you think? You should ditch a family like that. I said the same thing. But Haruto isn't confident in himself and says he's scared. Huh? Is that true? I know I shouldn't be with them, but this incident made it even harder for me to just leave them because they paid for the surgery and hospital bills. But isn't that the money that you've been giving your family? You really should get away from them once. You're starting to lose common sense. They've had a bad influence on you, and it's tearing you apart. I'll pay for your surgery and a hospital fee when you can leave. What? Of course, you'll pay me back when you get better and start working again. If you're going to owe someone, why not me? I want to pull you out of that family. A month had come by, and Mamoru left the hospital first. After a while, I was able to leave the hospital too. And Mamoru and Yukari really came to pick me up. <sighs> I cried. And I started living with Yukari, who's currently living alone. Are you sure it's okay? It's like we're a couple, though. Of course. It's okay. And besides, I'm going to make you fall in love with me. The family that I ditched ran out of money and had a huge family argument. In the end, the family broke apart. It was funny because it was like I was the one holding the family together all this time, even though I was treated like shit. Since then, I fell in love with Yukari and started dating her. We have Mamoru's blessing, and now, I'm working hard to repay Yukari for saving me. I'm Koiki Kikuchi. In high school, I was fat and dorky, and I had no interest in fashion. Koki, if you stay like that, you'll never get a decent girlfriend! I can survive without women. Besides, they make fun of me at school! I don't need any girls! Don't get me wrong, we love you and all, but I'm astounded. You have to try to at least look presentable, or you're just not going to be accepted in today's society. How long do you plan to sit there with your hair a holy mess? I heard your cousin Mamoru is going to a hairdressing academy. Why don't you tag along and see what's up? Huh? Mamoru? Sometime later, Mamoru came by to cut my hair. Hey, Koki. You're looking pretty snazzy. You're pretty good at this, Mamoru. I bet all the girls are clamoring for your attention. Well, yeah, I guess. But you've got the potential to really shine. We look sort of similar as kids. People thought we were brothers. Think I can be as good looking as you? Of course you can. You have to have the right mindset and think positively. Work towards that goal and you can be whatever you like. Man, you're so cool, Mamoru! With Mamoru's encouragement, I started to really work hard and polish up my skills. After graduating from high school, I entered a hairdresser's academy with the aim of becoming a hairstylist. My dream was to help people who have given up on life and give them a little helping hand. Kind of like what Mamadou did for me back then. Ten years later, after years of training, I became a full-fledged hairstylist and currently work at Mamadou's hair salon. Welcome! Could you fix up my hair? Is there a skilled hairstylist here? Excuse me, but... Do you have a reservation? 
No, I don't. But once the owner sees my business card, I'm sure he will oblige. Oh, okay. Kyoko Yabane? Oh, that Kyoko Yabane, huh? I'm Koki Kikuchi. What? That Kikuchi? This girl that came into the shop was a former high school classmate. But considering the lukewarm response I got from her when I mentioned my name, I regretted that right away. You're a hairstylist. Wow, there is no more decency in the world. Uh-huh. Is there actually someone out there that would really have you cut their hair? <laughs> they must really have no sense of style. I mean, it sure would look dorky, I bet. A shop that would hire the likes of you must not be very good. Hey, that's a bit harsh, you know? As I recall, Kyoko has always been this way, ever since high school. She always thought she was better than the people around her, and always treated people with disdain. She also said it was dorky. She hasn't changed one bit. Kyoko made such a scene at the entrance that the other guests started to notice the commotion. That's when the shop's owner appeared. A new customer? No, no reservation. But she seems to be famous. Some sort of influencer. Oh, yeah. I heard of her. Miss, Kikuchi is our shop's top stylist. I would prefer if you would not denigrate our staff without reason. <laughs> top stylist? Any shop that would hire Kikuchi must be second rate. Are you sure you can stay open? Please, relax. Kikuchi will not cut your hair. He's busy with other customers. Okay, then can I have you do it? You're the shop's top stylist, aren't you? Beg your pardon, miss? Top stylists require a reservation. What? Are you saying nobody will cut my hair? If you really want to have your hair done, please go through the proper procedure. If you do that, we would be more than happy to grant your wishes. I'm a famous influencer, and the shop at the next station has no problem granting my wishes. Each shop has its own policies. If you prefer them, why not make use of their services? Don't you dare insult an influencer! I'm going to upload this to Instagram! While Miss Yubani was making a ruckus, a customer with a reservation approached. I realized I don't have a right to speak up, but after overhearing the conversation, I was frankly shocked. Mr. Kikuchi here is a famous hairstylist. If you didn't even know that, you haven't read one fashion magazine, have you? What? Of course, I read them. Really? But you apparently came to the shop without knowing a thing about it. This shop is frequented up by various fashion magazines. And you expect to get taken care of by Mr. Kikuchi or the owner? Wow, that's pretty embarrassing. I... I was... I made my reservation two months ago, and I'm finally able to get my hair done. I don't know what you are, an influencer or an Instagrammer or whatever, but if you're going to spread particulars about people, make it about your idiosity and don't inconvenience the staff. How rude! If the shop is garbage, the customers are garbage too! Why don't you let dorky little Kikuchi cut your hair and have it turn out even dorkier? It seems our values are completely different. I'm not too confident, but using common sense, most people will be able to determine who's in the right. Who's dorkier, you or the customer? I mean, it seems obvious. Hey, why are you filming? I thought I would upload this story about a famous Instagrammer picking a fight at a famous hair salon. Please, no! Please, don't! Why is that? I mean, you were gonna upload it too, right? I'm sorry, please delete that, please! I won't say a word, I won't write anything, I apologize to both of you! Really, I apologize. <laughs> Sir, could you please not upload that? Huh? Are you sure? Yes, it seems she's learned her lesson. And I don't want the negative news for the shop. You're right. If she keeps it up, we can just talk to the police or consult a lawyer. Could you please send me that video just in case? Looks like you escaped a load of trouble all because Mr. Kikuchi is such a stand-up guy. Excuse me, I have to go. The boss talked to the other customers and asked them to just forget about the incident and let bygones be bygones. 
Okay, we're all done here. And thank you earlier. If it isn't my favorite hairstylist, I would do anything. Does that mean... Since then, I began to see Uria on a regular basis. Right now, I'm pretty content with how things are going. Hey, is that a photo of you in high school? Hey, not that, please! What? You look cool. Just thinking that this was you in high school, it's kind of cute. If you say so, it does make me kind of happy. My name is Tsubasa Saito. I'm doing customer support at a phone company, and since this is my fifth year, I was asked to do training for the new employee. Her name is Mika Katano. She doesn't take work seriously and is constantly on her phone. Miss Katano, you know we're at work now. Please stop using your phone. What? But I got an important text right now. I need to reply to it ASAP. But you're always texting, right? And plus, you haven't touched anything that I told you to do today. It's not okay when a job is not done accordingly on time. Can you please get to it ASAP? Ah, uh, okay. I'll get started on it, so can you wait for a little bit? Okay. Please finish it before it's time to leave. Yeah, I know, I know. But even after that, Miss Kitano had been looking at her phone all day and had not done her work. As I thought, Miss Kitano couldn't finish her work and I had to stay after working hours to teach her. Ugh, I want to go back home now. It's past my working hours, right? This is all because you were looking at your phone the whole time and not doing your work. This is so unfair. I want to go back home. I couldn't hold it in anymore, and before I knew it, I was yelling at her. Enough is enough! The reason why you have to stay after working hours is because you were not doing your work all day. Everything is your fault. I'm sorry. I'll... I'll be careful next time. Because I yelled, Miss Katano started crying. I quickly gained my temper and regretted yelling at her too much. But after that, she started to do her work properly, and we were able to finish up in two hours. Miss Katano, good work. Sorry about earlier, I was a bit out of line. Let's work hard tomorrow as well, okay? Uh, yes. I'm sorry about earlier. I let Miss Katano go and I stayed to finish up my work. The next day when I came to work, the whole office was noisy. Other workers were looking at my face and gossiping about something. When I was confused about what was going on, I was told by my angry boss to come see him quickly. Mr. Saito, what have you done to Miss Katano? Wait, what are you talking about? Don't be foolish. I heard that you kept hitting on Miss Katano after working hours. What? I haven't done that. What do you mean? Miss Katano came crying to me about it. You let me down. As I said, I didn't do that. I was just teaching her. Forget about it. There won't be a next time. Why is this happening to me? After that, everyone in the company looked at me with cold eyes and I had a reputation as an inhumane trainer that tried to hook up with a new employee. But because I was her trainer, I had to keep training her, so we kept going a bit awkwardly. One day... Senpai, you must be tired. Can I eat with you? When I was in the cafeteria taking a break, a new employee, Miss Shiratori, came up to me. Miss Shiratori is pretty, but her personality is not that outgoing, and she's not the type of girl to talk too much. However, despite the bad rumors about me, Miss Shiratori came up to talk to me. Y yes it's fine but is it fine for you? What do you mean? Because if you talk to me, then maybe you'll be gossiped about as well. I don't care about those things. Anyway, you like games, right? Um, yes, I do. Do you like them too? Yes, I'm actually a huge gamer, and on the weekends, I'm at home playing all day. I'm exactly the same. <laughs> you don't look like you play games, so it's quite surprising. Really? I'm actually such a big gamer that I write guides on the internet. Wow, really? Then maybe someday you can teach me. Of course, I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> Since then, me and Miss Shiratori hit it off with the same hobby. The other workers started gossiping about how I started to hit on another girl. But Miss Shiratori seemed to not care about it at all. I was teaching Miss Katano as the trainer. As always, she seems to have an attitude towards me and doesn't do her job. Not only that, 
One day when I got to work, Miss Katana was once again crying to the manager for help. Listen to me. He told me to spend the night with him again last night. I said no multiple times, but he wouldn't stop. Hey, Mr. Saito, what is going on? This is your second time. I told you before never to do it again. As I told you, I never invited Miss Katana to come over. This is it. I'm going to tell our boss and let them give you the right punishment. At that moment, Miss Shiratori, who was sitting in the seat close by, stood up. Boss, I was sitting next to Miss Katana the whole time. I don't think Mr. Saito did anything wrong. It's probably a lie. Miss Shiratori, is this true? Yes. If you want, I have some videos and pictures of Miss Katano during work and after work. Oh, yeah. And I also have her social media post screenshotted as evidence. What? That's violating my privacy! Miss Shiratori, why do you go as far as to take pictures of Miss Katano? I was bullied by Miss Katano from the beginning. She kept on telling me, don't be big headed just because you're pretty, or don't get too excited by the small compliments that you don't deserve. And sometimes my personal belongings got misplaced from my locker, and so I felt the need to record her behavior. Plus, Miss Katano, she's posting terrible pictures and messages on social media. We borrowed Miss Shiratori's phone and looked at Miss Katano's account. To our surprise, we found a post saying, My trainer at work keeps on getting angry at me and it's annoying, haha. <laughs> I'm gonna get him fired from the company, haha. <laughs> These posts were obviously directed towards myself. Not just this, there were posts directed towards Miss Shiratori like, The girl next to my desk is so annoying with all her expensive things. She's showing off her luxury brand purse. She's probably a gold digger. Moreover, there were some pictures of the office from her previous posts. In some of them, there were pictures that included the company's confidential information. Miss Katano, this is extremely bad. Miss Katano got so angry at the fact that her wrongdoing got exposed that she tried to grab on to Miss Shiratori. You bastard! Then, the CEO who just came back from a business trip walked in. When the manager told him the situation, he got extremely mad at Miss Katano. What have you done? Commenting bad things about our employees and on top of that, revealing our clients' information! That... that was a mistake. It accidentally got in the photo. Don't make excuses! We're gonna investigate it! You can't come to work until the results come back! What? After that, Miss Katano could not come to work for a while and she had to take time off. When she came back, everyone in the company looked at her with cold eyes and no one talked to her. Due to this uncomfortable environment, Miss Katano quickly quit the job. Senpai, good work. Miss Shiratori, good work. Thanks a lot for the other day. No problem. I couldn't take her as well. Anyway, I found a fun game. Oh really? What is it? This! Wow, this looks like a scary game. It's very fun. Please, I want you to try it. Yeah, I'll think about it. I'm actually not good with scary things though. None. If we do it together, you won't be scared? Like this, me and Miss Shiratori got really close. We often got teased by the other workers that we look good together. I don't know if Miss Shiratori has feelings for me, but I gradually started to take an interest in her. I'm planning on confessing to her about my feelings someday, but that's a whole different story. I'm Kaito Yoshimura. One day on my way home from work, I stopped by my girlfriend's house. She lived with her parents. Hey, I got this from my colleague. Thought you might like it, Sachi. Oh, really? Thanks. Wanna come in? Huh? Oh, but I'm all dirty. I should go home. Nonsense. It's fine, really. Ah, uh, is that your boyfriend, sis? Uh, hey. Sachi's sister. It's my first time meeting her in person. Is that her boyfriend? You guys are getting married soon, right? Yeah, we just started the preparations. I see. Well, good luck with her. What does she mean? I met her sister for the first time, but something about her didn't feel right, and it wasn't just her. Um, you're her fiancé, right? How can you show up to your girlfriend's house looking like that? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm just coming back from work, so... Yeah, he's been working all day. Leave him alone. Yeah, let him be. He's not an office worker like you, babe. He doesn't have a choice. Uh, right. That's too bad. 
sorry about that. Hey! Hey, it's fine. It's kind of true, so... But, Kaito, you're... It's fine. I don't want to fight, okay? Oh, so you're good with this, then? That's good, I guess. Considering my sister's looks, I think she did okay for herself. But making minimum wage must be hard. Don't try to leech off me, okay? <laughs> Come on, let's go, babe. The smell, it's making me dizzy. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Let's have some fun in bed. Oh, stop it. Assholes. Sorry about this. I should have changed first. I know I smell bad. I don't care. I love you the way you are, Kaito. Oh, Sachi! Stop! You're gonna get your clothes dirty! We loved each other. But her sister and her boyfriend both graduated from Ivy League schools. They looked down on me. They were getting married soon, too. We had to invite them to our wedding, but I hope nothing goes wrong. I can take the insults, but I'm not sure about Sachi. Maybe we should just not invite them. Ah, <sighs> that was a long meeting. But we got everything down. Can't wait for the wedding. Hey, Sachi, are you sure about inviting your sister and her boyfriend? I didn't want to. They're just gonna make fun of us, I know it. I wish I didn't have to invite them, but... She is family, so whatever. You're so mature, Sachi. Let's just have fun, okay? Yeah, of course. Sorry my sister is like this. Then, the day was finally here. Wow, this place is incredible. Aki! Your sister's boyfriend! He's a construction worker, right? How can he afford this? I know. We make fun of them, so they must have upgraded everything. They're such show-offs. Ah, that makes sense. Hey, Tagamatsu! How do you know the groom? Oh, hello, sir. Um, well, I'm dating his fiancée's sister. Oh, I see! So you're gonna be his brother-in-law someday. Good for you! He's gonna be the next CEO of Yoshimoto Construction! Huh? Yoshimoto Construction? That's one of our biggest clients! Wait, you didn't know? Uh, what? Uh, no! Uh, of course I did! <laughs> Why didn't you tell me this? Yoshimoto's Construction is one of the biggest companies in the industry! I had no idea. You saw how dirty he was. I thought he was some blue-collar worker. Uh, this is all your fault! What if he tries to take revenge on me? My career would be over! My fault? Are you serious? It looked like they were fighting. They weren't even looking at each other. I wonder what's wrong. Are those two okay? I don't know. They're always fighting about stupid things. At least they're quiet. I see. Hope everything's okay. It was a beautiful wedding. Everything went according to plan. It was one of the best days of my life. We were now husband and wife. But around the same time... You make less than my sister's husband. I can't marry you. What? We already paid for the wedding! At least I'm not sweaty all the time! Ugh, none of this makes sense. How is he the next CEO? That's enough, you two! Kaido's father wants him to learn how things are done in the field. That's why he's working outside all day long. He's a licensed architect. Did you know that? Stop looking down on people. You guys are an embarrassment. Just break up already. You! Never step foot on my property again! Aki, go to your room! You're grounded! I heard from Sachi's mom that they broke up soon after that. I met her ex-boyfriend a few times through work. He looked really uncomfortable talking to me. Well, I guess I can't really blame him for that. <laughs> oh well, that's what you get for looking down on people. I guess. It's not like I'm trying to get revenge or anything, but hey. Maybe I'll talk to his company's CEO and make him work out in the fields to teach him a lesson. <laughs> I think it'll be good for him, actually. He needs to learn the hard way. <laughs> True that. I'm Riku Fujimori.
I work at an izakaya in the evening while going to a fashion designing vocational school. The other day, a new staff member joined the izakaya. I'm Yoshida. Nice to meet you. Yoshida? I have a feeling I know him. How you doing? We haven't met since high school! The new staff, Yoshida, was my classmate back in high school. But I wasn't very happy about this. Why? Well, he isn't a nice person. You go to a vocational school, right, Fujimori? How is it? Yeah, I go to a fashion design vocational school. I study a lot related to design, and it's really fun. But I mean, even if you study it, only a handful of people actually become designers, you know? I bet you're gonna regret wasting your time and get a completely different job! Well, I don't think I'm going to regret it. No, I bet you will! And I bet you'll regret not studying in high school and getting into a prestigious university like me! I guess he really wants to brag about the fact that he got into a good university. But people have different strengths, so I don't necessarily think you need to go to a university. Yoshida is the type of person who judges people based on their schools. And he makes fun of the staff who haven't been to university. So the atmosphere at work was really bad. Did you go to the same high school as Yoshida? I feel so sorry for you having to see him at work again. Well, I guess it can't be helped. The vocational school I go to is quite close to the university he goes to, so... I wonder what makes him so great. Going to a prestigious university? Everyone is annoyed by him. I totally get it. Everyone got annoyed with Yoshida and stopped being friendly to him. So his attention started to focus on me. And he would make fun of me for going to a vocational school whenever he got the chance. One day, as I was getting tired of listening to all the shit, my friends from the vocational school came to the izakaya. Hi, Fujimori! How you doing? Hey, guys! Don't you have work today? I wish. We'll stay until your ship ends, so let's go drinking after that. Exactly how much are you going to drink? Oh, are they all your friends? So, they couldn't get into uni? Hey. They're customers. Is that your classmate from high school that you were talking about? Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Yoshida from Sekafuki University. You go to Sekafushi University? That's amazing. He's simping for Mio because she's cute. So, it's okay for someone to go to vocational school if they're cute? It's nothing special. Wow, your friends are really impressive too, Riku. That's not grammatically correct. If you say your friends are impressive too, you're saying that Fujimori is also impressive, not just me. That's what I meant. Riku is amazing. He always wins the awards in the contest at school, and he got an offer from a really famous apparel company to work as a designer. Well, yeah. What? But you used to be so... What was Riku like back in high school? Let's not talk about that. <laughs> this is my chance to tell his embarrassing past and mess his reputation up! Let me see. He always used to sleep in, and he was late, and his hair was always messy, and he was quite sloppy. Hey! <laughs> so you haven't changed much then. That's pretty much you now! <laughs> you often get told off by the teacher, don't you? Your talent isn't the only thing you need for work, mate. But I mean, at least you have the talent. Why is it not working? Alright then! He told the cutest girl in the class that he liked her, but she turned him down saying he was lame! Hey, stop it! What a waste. And what does she even mean by lame? You're all wearing the same uniform. Riku is the most fashionable guy I've ever met. Yeah, she probably didn't have good taste in guys. Why? 
Why does everyone admire Fujimori so much? Or maybe they're dumb enough to admire Fujimori. I bet you all went to vocational school because you couldn't go to university. There are ways to study fashion at university as well, so... That's a little different, Yoshida. Some of the most famous designers come to our school as lecturers. A lot of people come to our school for that. Universities have their benefits and vocational schools have their own benefits as well. Everyone chooses to come because they wanted to study at that school. Yeah, there's a senpai who graduated T University, and he came to vocational school after that. Why would they do such a thing? For the same reason as us, to make clothes only we can make. Vocational school is really fun. It's like we're running towards our dreams. That's right. Well, you're right in the sense that I wasn't smart enough to go to university. I may not be smart, but I'm passionate about designing clothes more than anyone else. It's not too hard to get jobs either. What the hell? Why are you all so happy with your lives? Yoshida? I later heard from another staff member that Yoshida's job hunting wasn't going well. And so that's why he was being mean. To relieve his stress. Hey. What? Are you gonna tell me you don't like my attitude towards your friends? Well, not exactly. I had something I wanted to say. I don't think you should choose a path that you will regret later. What are you talking about? You said things like, I bet you're going to regret wasting your time and do a completely different job. And you'll regret that you didn't study and get into a famous university like me. I realized that you're the one who has regrets. The things you worked hard for haven't turned out the way you thought they would. And you've been thinking that you should have done this or that. But you don't have to regret it. You wouldn't get it! I understand you worked hard to get into Sekifushi University. And I know that you're clever enough to get in. But you started insulting others to feel better because things weren't going well for you. Don't you understand that you're trying to waste everything you've worked for? What the hell? If you want to be confident, why not try living like that? I know he didn't want to hear this, but I said it anyways. Yoshida quit the job the next day, and I didn't see him anymore. After five years, I bumped into Yoshida in the city. Huh? Fujimori? Yoshida, you get married? Yeah. What about you? Not yet, but hopefully soon enough. I see. I see you on TV quite a lot. I see you've become quite the designer. Well, I'm just doing what I can. I'm doing my best too. Those words you said that day, I want to say thanks. That's all. Good luck with your career. Something from the past? Yeah, kind of. He only said a few words. I think he struggled a lot and managed to change. I think he was able to choose a path so that he wouldn't regret the things he did. I was in a good mood knowing how much my classmate had grown as a person. I'm Daisuke Fujita. I'm a 34-year-old office worker. I'm single. Nah, uh, had to work late again. Then, just as I was about to leave, one of my colleague's stalkers showed up at work so I had to call the cops. It's almost midnight. Ah. Uh. So he's 30? And single? That's creepy. Maybe there's something wrong with him. I know, right? Normal guys can get married by 30, you know? What the? I mean, if he's between girlfriends, then fine, but... He's never had a girlfriend before? That's so pathetic. Yeah, he's gonna be alone for the rest of his life. <laughs> stop. Please stop. Some girls on the train were talking. It tore me up inside. Why? Because I was a 34-year-old virgin. I've had a girlfriend, but I just didn't know what to do and she dumped me. A virgin in his 30s? No thanks. <laughs> I heard that. I guess I'll be alone for the rest of my life. Whatever. I should just stop thinking about it. I can be happy without women. I'm sure I'll be fine. But a few days later, Akai, my colleague, asked me out. Fujita, I like you. Will you go out with me? What? 
Is this some kind of joke? A girl asking me out? Uh... So? What do you say? Uh, thanks. Um, can I have some time to think about it? Okay, I know it was out of the blue. Oh, it's not that, it's just... I'll get back to you, I promise. Okay. Wow, I never thought I'd see the day. I'm flattered, but as soon as she finds out that I'm a 34-year-old virgin, she'll run away from me. Ah, what am I supposed to do? I thought about it for a while. The next day, my boss, Miss Aoshima, called me out. Fujita, you're spacing out again. What's wrong? Oh, sorry. You got something on your mind? Wanna talk about it? Huh? Oh, no, I'm fine. Thank you. Hmm... So you don't want to tell me, huh? What if I was your girlfriend? Will you tell me then? What? Uh... Uh... uh please stop teasing. I'm not teasing. I think you're pretty. I'd go out with you. Will you go out with me? Oh, uh... I'm sorry. Can I think about it? <laughs> Fine. But make up your mind soon. Don't leave me hanging. Wow. First Akai, and now this? I'm a pathetic loser. I can never say no to people. There's no way they actually like me. Can't be. I still couldn't believe any of it. I mean, two girls asked me out in two days? I had no idea what was going on. I'm a 34-year-old virgin. This has to be some kind of joke. Has to be. Hello? Hey, Fujita. Sorry to call you so late. Um, are you free to talk right now? Uh, sure. What is it? That night, I got a call from Midorikawa, another colleague of mine. I'm sorry, it's not work-related or anything, but... I didn't know what to do. Uh, it's okay. What's up? Um, I like you. I really like you. Huh? I've always liked you and... I can't hold in my feelings anymore. If you don't have a girlfriend, will you... Will you give me a chance? What? No way! I'm sorry, uh... Can I have some time to think about it? It's just so sudden, I... Of course, thank you! Oh, what's going on? What am I supposed to do? All of a sudden I'm a ladies' man? How was that even possible? I couldn't make a decision, though. I've never done this in my life. Why me anyways? A week went by since Akai asked me out. I still didn't know what to tell them. Uh, I'm gonna go home as soon as the bell rings today. Maybe I'll grab a drink. Fujita! Oh, Akai! Um, it's been a week. Did you make up your mind? Crap! Uh, what do I do now? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I'm still thinking and... Fujita, can we talk? Oh, uh, Miss Oshima. Sorry, we're kind of busy right now. I asked him out a week ago, and he still hasn't answered me. Oh, really? What a coincidence. I asked him out too. Wait, is that why? Well, uh, kind of. Um... Hold it! I asked him out too! Ah, why? Why is she here? I see. So we all asked him out, huh? Damn it. I didn't know I had competition. I knew he was popular with the ladies, but I don't want to lose. Hey, um, listen. I'm pretty confused right now, and uh, I mean, why me? It doesn't make sense. I'm 34, you know. I'm not that good with women, and I'm a loser. I... The other day, one of our colleague's stalkers showed up at work, remember? We all panicked, but you caught him. Remember that? Uh, yeah, I guess. That was so amazing! That's when I fell in love with you! Same here! I need a man I can rely on! I never thought that much about you before, but... After that incident, you kinda got on my radar. Oh, so that's what it was. The stalker incident. I guess they all saw me. You took him down so easily! What's your secret? Uh, my family runs a karate dojo, so... You said you're a loser, but I don't think so. You're kind and strong. You're amazing, Fujita. 
Ah, oh, thank you. So, who do you choose? Uh, I... Need to think about it? Fine. But I'm not giving up that easily. Good luck, guys. But he's mine. No, he's mine! I'm the one for him! Wow, is this a dream? For the first time in my life, the ladies were all over me. Oh, this is one of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make. I'm Riku Kano. A friend invited me out for a karaoke group party. Ah, thank you! Goodbye! Wow, Tomoya, you're such a good singer. Looks like today's matchup is going to be Tomoya and Eiko. Apparently, Eiko got the women together, but the other two are just backup, I guess. May, you want me to get you a drink? No, I'm good. I'll wait for Tomiya to finish his set. She's waiting for him to finish his song before leaving the room. I suppose she's right. Leaving the room while someone is singing is a bit distracting. You're so considerate. No, no. It's just that if someone does that to me, it makes me feel a bit sad. So I'm just careful I don't do that to others. She seems like such a good person. We may just hit it off. Okay, you're next, May. You came all the way here, so at least give us one song. What? Well, okay, just one. Her voice, her face, and even her clumsiness. I'm gonna go to the restroom. I'm gonna get a drink. Come on. If you're gonna leave the room, at least do it when we're all picking a song or something. Hmm, May's a pretty good singer, but she doesn't sing with much confidence. Seems such a waste. I bet if she sang with a little bit more conviction, she would be way better than Aiko. To be honest, I was a bit attracted to May. After the song ended, I praised her on her singing abilities, and we were just having a fun conversation. Then, Aiko came along to chide us. Hey, May. You're not being disrespectful to Rico now, are you? Is everything okay? Everything is fine. Really? Aren't you just being considerate? Everything she does is so dull and she tends to get shunned by everyone around her. I always have to be around to take care of things where she can't do anything. Hmm, that's not a nice thing to say. And also, she has this blemish on her face, so she's never had a boyfriend. Bet she resents her parents for that. I worry for her, so I bring her to these group parties, but nobody pays her any attention. I always end up approaching people on her behalf. No need to worry. What's a little blemish? What? Riku, you're so kind, but no way that he'll make her your girlfriend. I don't think there are any guys out there that would mind. And I myself don't care. Besides, if there's some guy like that, so be it. You're just too considerate, Riku, that's all. If you're concerned about it, just make it disappear. It looks like it can be covered up easily. I mean, if it's really what that person wants. Um, I was born with this blemish. It won't simply disappear. Making it disappear? That would mean using lasers, right? Just because a blemish is dirty, you can't use laser surgery. Bit dangerous for you, isn't it, Riku? Nobody's saying that. It's just that if May's so distressed by it, or has a complex about it, there are ways to make it disappear. So how is it done? Are you interested? What, is it showtime? Have you brought your work tools with you again? Don't give me that again, BS. You're the one that called me out while I was working. Work tool? That's right. Riku works in cosmetics. What? So he's a makeup artist? Do you get to meet any celebrities? Yeah, on occasion. Then I started applying some makeup on May. For covering up blemishes, I use this concealer. Have you ever used it? I've only used common blemish concealers, but I wasn't able to cover it up very well. You can change the color of the concealer according to the color of the blemish. If it's brown, use blue or black. 
Then use a strong reddish tint. If it's red, use some white. If the blemish is white, dark brown tint, and so forth. A brown blemish can be covered up with regular concealer, but yours has a darker tint, so I can cover it up nicely with a darker red concealer. Don't you think it'll be too thick? Don't worry. Watch how I apply it, so later you can do it yourself. Wow! That's incredible! My blemish is gone! Wow! That's incredible! May, you look really pretty. I can't even see there's a blemish. But you know, Riku, makeup is great, but there is one important point. So if you take the makeup off, the blemish comes back, right? If someone likes you with the makeup on and sees you later without it, that would be pretty shocking. They'll think it's a scam. Can you do me next? Sure, I could, but don't expect too much. What? Why? You have a better subject than May, and besides, it would be more challenging for you. Hmm, I don't know about that. You can't cover up a bad personality with makeup. What? <laughs> yeah, he's got a point. Tomaya, you too? Aiko, you've had a pretty bad attitude all along. You always ridicule girls and showcase yourself. But you sure don't come across as a nice person, that's for sure. You probably brought the other girls to make yourself look good. But it seems it had the opposite effect. The other girls come off as kind and considerate. In the end, Aiko left the party midway through. After a while, we all left the group party. On the way, I talked to Mei. Think you can do the makeup all by yourself tomorrow? Um, I decided I wasn't going to hide it. If I hide it and someone sees it later, well, you know. Anyway, I just thought it would be better to not hide it and just go on living my life. Are you concerned about what Aiko said? If it's someone who already knows about the blemish, all problems are solved, right? I'm thinking. I'd like to see you again, if it's okay. Can I call you? You would? With me? Yeah. I like how you're always considerate of things around you. From then on, we dated and officially started seeing each other. As we started seeing each other, it became my job to apply her makeup. I enjoy having a professional makeup artist apply it, but to think that I'm being compared to celebrities, to be honest, scares me. Is my skin... No, no! I'm surprised by how beautiful your skin is when you don't even use makeup. You're prettier than all the celebrities that I work with. To be honest, I bet you'd be happy if I said, it would be wonderful if the person I love took the time to make themselves beautiful. An emergency hospital downtown. Sachio Mitobe, right? Time for the blood sample you've been looking forward to. Oh, I miss Natsu. I wasn't exactly looking forward to it. Actually, I was the one looking forward to it. Just because you are immobilized, are you watching anime on your smartphone every day? Don't go watching those erotic ones, please. We are a legitimate hospital, you know. Two months for a leg break seems. <laughs> you get to rest up for two months. Don't you have a job? And it seems the only people who visit you are your uncle and grandpa. If you are actually working, people from your office would be visiting, right? You're not always sitting at home playing games, are you? That's what they call a neat, right? Your father looked pretty serious, saying Sachio, Sachio, over and over. <laughs> Aren't you a bit ashamed to be sponging off your parents? So it's neat for Mr. Neatobe. Okay, I will stop off again. Mrs. Sacho, are you fine? She's being disrespectful. I agree, sir. I know you don't want to reveal your identity, but just listening to that nurse makes my blood boil. You're in charge of major construction projects around the city. You're the CEO of Natope Construction Company. I don't care what the world thinks of you. Makes no difference. Your skills and experience have been handed down to you for generations. That's why I've remained your personal secretary for so long. Um, 
Mr. Ishio? Let's leave it at that for now, okay? Mr. Tenai, no problems on the home front, I hope. No problem, sir. I'm your butler, so there's nothing to worry about at home. Sir, the person that you saved contacted us and wants to express his gratitude to you again. I don't really think you have to go all the way to the site to meet with him. Simply providing photos and documents won't allow our customers to feel the place. It also seems like there are a lot of shopkeepers who will utilize them all. Oh no! Be careful! That thing's gonna fall! Boss! Sir! Hurry! Call an ambulance! That woman did nothing wrong, and I was just there at the right time to help her. Anyways, it's also a slip-up on the construction process. Make sure there's no blame on this woman, right? Did you get that? Make sure it's implemented. Are the operations at the office moving along smoothly? I can do most of the administrative stuff remotely, so it's not a problem, but... Well, we have considerable credibility, so business is going without a hitch, but... There are clients that want to meet you face-to-face -to, -face to discuss details. I really don't want to cause other patients any grief, so I would prefer to avoid that. That's why I don't want everyone making a fuss about me being a corporation. To be honest, I even preferred to be placed in an ordinary hospital ward. Please, Mr. Sachio. Then we wouldn't even be able to have a conversation. At least let us place you in this private room. Yeah, I get it. So, I'll leave the rest up to you. Therapy room. Okay, Mr. Nitobe, you're doing great. Are you okay? Do you want to take a break? Just a little bit more. Everything is balance. Alright. Truth be told, I have staff members working for me, so I feel like I have to get better and get back to work. Mr. Nitobe, you always seem to be working hard for others. Huh? I always hear you talking about helping people. I bet you're loved by a lot of people. Yeah, you think so? I haven't really put much thought into it. But I suppose I am surrounded by a lot of good people. If you overdo it, the injury will just get worse, and you'll end up delaying your recovery. I understand your frustration, but let's take time and fix it properly. Thanks so much. Because of you, Miss Sarah, I've been able to bear the pain. I look forward to your sessions. Hmm, okay. Now for my next assignment. I'm going over to Mr. Ni and chide him a bit. Hey, Odd Evie. Got a second? The nurse who seems to be looking after the patient, she's a physical therapist like you, right? Have you heard anything about Miss Nasu from Mr. Nitobe? No, nothing in particular. Has she done something? She was recently hired because she had on-the-job experience, but we haven't had good feedback from the patients. Really? Mr. Itobe hasn't mentioned anything. He's really not the type to talk about other people. We were contacted by that woman again about the accident. I wish she wouldn't take it so seriously. Wait a sec. Basically, the accident was Nitobe Construction's fault. So it seems obvious that I should, as CEO of the company, apologize to her. But I certainly can't meet with her under these circumstances. But we can relay that information to her beforehand. Thanks, Mr. Hishio. Take care of it, would you? Oh, really? The NEAT? The CEO of Nitobe Construction Company? No way! When the old guy called him Sachio, did he actually intend to say Sacho, meaning president? So that means the young fellow is no neat, but instead worth millions? <laughs> this is the chance of a lifetime! Now, if I can just grab the heart of this money tree, I'm set for life! I'll be sitting on a pot of gold without a worry in the world! Marry into a rich family! Operation Yamato Go! But, 
I've been making fun of the money pot. But a lady will take that failure and make it a success. I've got the ultimate weapon. <laughs> Boom! For the heart. Sexy shotgun. Miss Natsu? Don't get so nervous, little boy. Make me your gal, Sachio. Miss Nasu! If I can create actual proof, I'm set. Not so sure you should be doing that in front of the hospital director. What? <laughs> uh, what are you doing here, director? And you too, head nurse. His leg support is no longer needed, and we thought he should move to the VIP room. That aside, what are you doing here? All medical staff is currently working their butts off, and you're doing exactly what, can I ask? You've disrespected our hospital. I want you out of here immediately! No, 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 please! On the day of my discharge, everybody, thank you all for your help. Your physical therapy must still go on. Make sure you don't overdo it. Yes, I'm looking forward to your sessions. As a token of my appreciation, I would like to take you out to dinner. Yes, I would like that. I hope your work goes well. Mr. Nitobe! Miyuri Tabe, you saved me two months ago. I'm sorry for causing you pain. Yes, I remember. Our facility was not up to par. and As a consequence, you were put in danger. Please, you saved my life! I'm not sure if this is any consolation, but... My brother opened a restaurant at a mall. Could you possibly have dinner with me there? I should be the one apologizing, but okay. I'll contact you once I get my schedule straightened out. Thank you. I'm not gonna lose. Hmm? Hmm. Interesting, Interesting girl. girl. Mr. Natobe is always considerate of people around him. I guess that's why he's so popular. Although, when it comes to romance, he's a bit unconcerned. I really admire people like him, though. He's really special in his own way. What do you think of today's story? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. See you tomorrow. Bye! Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.